Finance Minister Malusi Gigaba says he directed a forensic audit of the country's public investment corporation to ensure transparency and provide assurances to pensioners who have their assets invested with the PIC. He was speaking exclusively to SABC News on the sidelines of the International Monetary Fund and World Bank meetings in Washington. He's also due to meet all three major credit ratings agencies amid continued concerns over possible additional downgrades. He arrived in Washington just as the IMF cut South Africa's growth forecast to 0.7%, despite Treasury's estimate of 1.3% growth and an uptick in the global economy to the tune of 3.6% for 2017. We don't think we're going to grow at 1.3%. We also don't think we are going to reach our revenue, um, our revenue targets. There is certainly going to be a shortfall in terms of revenue targets, which means that we are in a really tight situation. You're we talking need about taxes to. Now, right? I'm talking about taxes because when the economy is has slowed down um, at the rate that it has, it, it has an impact on um, our revenue base. He's already met with ratings agency S and P, and will also meet Moody's and Fitch later this week. What the ratings agencies refer to as political risks arising from the ANC's elective conference the uncertainty as to who is going to emerge as the next leader of the African National Congress. But we, we, what we say is that from where we stand, the, the, the political risks are, are not as adverse as they are being made out to be because ultimately South Africa is a democratic country, the ANC is a democratic organization. It does mean that after every five years there is going to be leadership contestations. He dismissed a figure of 100 billion rand from the PIC to supposedly bail out state-owned enterprises as fabrication, as we pressed him on his reasons for a forensic audit of the Public Investment Corporation. The concerns which have been raised um, must not be dismissed as, as, as malicious or in, in, as, as conspiratorial. Mm -hmm. the, 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 there are genuine concerns which have been raised it's necessary that the PIC should demonstrate in a transparent manner that the, the, there is no bad investments that they are making, there are no bad investments they are making, but that they should also demonstrate that these concerns which are being raised have, have no basis. And, and that can be provided not through simply dismissing maliciously the concerns which have been raised, but through providing facts, putting the facts on the table, being transparent with uh, both government and the South African public so that everybody can have the comfort they deserve. The PIC oversees the biggest fund in Africa, managing some 1.9 trillion rand in assets, mainly belonging to the Government Employees Pension Fund. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, Washington.